fun today. we got a stellar show ahead of you. Thanks for tuning in and welcome to Pot TV and the Red Beard Show. Let me thank my sponsors and we'll change the order slightly this week because look at this kind selection in the house. Yeah. Yeah. And they brought the fire. So let's just pause on that note. Thank you, Kind Selection, for joining us today. Pleasure, buddy. We're hard at work. These guys have been helping me process my medicine. Teaching me lots of amazing things about the process. Ooh, that's tasty. What is this uh, waxy one? It's a big piece of stuff out of the backyard. It's a useful sour diesel. Mm. It's all the What else? It's mm -hmm. a little bit of mm -hmm. lemon. Delicious. Sun growing resin. And thank you, as always, Vancouver Seed Bank. Don't forget, we're going to be giving away seeds in the chat room at 4.30 our time in BC. So uh, whatever time that is where you are, uh, get in the chat room if you're watching this live. We'll be giving away genetics. Thank you, Vancouver Seed Bank. VancouverSeedBank.ca. Get online and check them out. Amazing people, amazing seeds. And then, of course, my extract sponsors. we got kind selections always. We have Beard Brothers Society, uh, recent winners of a, a bazillion Cannabis Cup Awards. And uh, this week also Shatterbeard's joining me on the uh, on the show. Thank you, Shatterbeard, as always. Uh, he wanted to, be, to remind you how he has easy access and get a hold of him. He's a good man. So, I want to also thank, while I'm looking at my wonderful meds here, grown with the help of Remo Nutrients. Yeah, beautiful. This one's the Drums of War by Umwerda Genetics. Beautiful how'd you, stuff. How'd you find this one? This is delicious. You should uh, taste that. Beautiful. Beautiful. And look at my beautiful wardrobe sponsor, Dirty Dave Limited. He's a good man, I tell ya. He's got great clothes. He's got great buds. He's an excellent guy. Get your clothes down at CCHQ. That's Mark Emery's headquarters in Vancouver. Uh, hey, oh, Kiln sponsor, Aim Kilns. They support the pipers all across the continent. If you need to get some aim kilns, get at me. I'm the Canadian distributor now. And hey, last but not least, check it out. I got a beer sponsor, 12 Kings Pub in Vancouver. They're the corner of 12th and Kingsway. The owner is heavily involved in the cannabis scene and uh, he's got a wonderful pub with wonderful craft beer. I'm trying out this amazing Steamworks Hop Attack. It's a fresh hop IPA with a Sartori Hot Farm collaborations. Woohoo! So only the best today. The best dabs, the best hops. We're having a lot of fun. Oh, I got a janky glass I'm gonna use. This was a unsuccessful uh, uh, attempt at making uh, one of my classic beer mug pipes, but it, it still works as the beer mug. Oh yeah, I'm gonna check the chat. How's the sound? How's the video? I know I'm not high def, but I'm on top of the fucking mountain, right? So until I get that crazy satellite system, uh, deal with it. It's, it is what it is, and one day it'll be better. Okay, chat, how's it sound? How's it? Good now, great. Woo! -hoo! We're good to go. Let's blow that screen up like that. Oh, we got Jordan over here. Jordan working on a couple of little marbles, I believe, to attach to this piece. Yes, sir. We're ready for a squeeze here. Ready for a squeeze. So on today's show, we're going to be talking about hash. It's hashy sa Saturdays. Hashy Saturdays. Show show what we're going to. It's actually got to use the uh, what's that? Uh, uh, Sean. Uh, oh, I forget his name. Uh, I'll remember it eventually. Okay. No, he's in the chat. Thanks for joining McGonagall. That's who he's thinking about. Who I rent to. Anyway. Uh, we're pressing fresh rosin out of all the strings that I grew, and we got eight bags over here. And uh, all some lovely, lovely herbs. Check out this one. Look how purple that is. Woohoo! Isn't that amazing? That's the, uh, it says Drums of War on the bag, but that's mislabeled. This is the Rainbow Skunk from Solar Warrior Seeds. And I did get that from. Vancouver Seed Bank. Is this that same waxy stuff, is it? There we go. Woo! So, it was one of those rosin or what? Yeah. That was 
delicious. That was like a, the salad of my dreams. Right, let's see the uh, East Coast salad. Oh, my Lord. We made rosin out of a five-minute tumble. A five-minute tumble of the God's Green Crack, you say? East, East Coast Sardis. The East Coast Sardis. Well, that's my favorite strain, I gotta the, tell you. The one what. minute didn't make it here, by the way. I understand. I it didn't make it off the dad, but it was gone. Yeah. It smoked it all right away. Well, we got Mailman in the back here, pressing rosin. The knee tech, as explained by Gibson on the stage that where I first saw it at that Prairie Cup. Gibson on Quadra, killing it with his crew. Shout out to all those boys. Hey, uh, Brayden, I hope you're growing that afro back, man. I was yeah. crushed when I heard that you yeah, shaved it's your gone. head. Dude. You know what I didn't notice more, though, than the afro the was gone was Gibson's beautiful golden locks. Oh, he, he and no his, beard. Yeah, well, that was the thing. I saw a little newspaper article because he was doing a little play on Quadra. The, uh, I seen it. Horror show, seen Rocky. It you saw it? Yeah. And, and I was looking at the picture. I was like... Gibson's not in that play. There's no beard in that lineup. Uh -oh. And honestly, I still don't know which which he's the, uh, male or female that he is on stage because there's no beard. He's the one that they uh, the doctor creates, the sex slave. Well, I don't I don't know the play. Yeah, I didn't either until I saw I don't know if I've ever seen that thing. I'm not a big TV watcher. But anyway, cheers to the Quadra crew and uh, cheers to the Canmore crew. I saw Walter in the uh, chat room. Walter Toner Tech, and he's now. Uh, Fucking famous for making the OG Moss come back to life. Yeah, yeah man. <coughs> Cheers, Walter, for helping uh, do that. He's pulling gun mount glass. So if you guys are interested in getting some gun mount glass, and that's what makes OG Moss. Well, what the hell's gun mount glass? Well, look at what I got sitting here. Gun mounts. These are ripped off the back and inside of old TVs. This is kind of a tealy blue green, and that one looks like a dark brown black. And one of these colors is an important ingredient for making. OG Moss, which has been extinct for a few years. So, cheers to our fellow Canadian Walter. <coughs> How's she Saturday? So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I guess I should get to work. Eh? Let's show you what I've done so far. All right, so I've only done one prep so far. Tim brought some uh, glass over, and uh, and one of the colors he made is this pretty cool. Maybe you could tell us what it is, Tim. Ow. Uh, this one I've already split. What's this one? There's two different ones. One's, they're both, uh, I think it was Sunset Orange. And Sunset that one orange. has exotic citrus over top. And this one has pink Mai Tai. Cool. So this is going to be the base of the little rig we're making. I'm going to make that into a beaker. And then I made a flattened mouthpiece. And I pressed in a perfect circle using the base of my bowl push. I pressed that into the center to tag it. That's pretty cool, makes the smoke go around it. And then I uh, popped the hole already. So this, I'm going to make into a small arc. We'll Great weld it onto that. Arc. And then this is going to go underneath that as a beaker. And that's the plan today. So try to keep up. We're going to go quickly, I think. Oh, today. Is that all for beer? What do we got? Oh, go. go. oh safety break. Safety brakes. That should be enough for a seat to have a down the whole time. Safety third. Oh, that's oh, great. Oh, I wasn't going to share it. I can though. share. I can share. Right. I figured that should probably make one new for so everybody. Can I just, do I just, I'll just take the edge off? Uh, you you might want to. I don't know. It's up to you. It's, I don't know. No. That was a pretty good sized gap, so how much did you press? Oh, that's, that's lovely. About like round. A this is all rosin right here from yeah. what you just did. Well, let's show the camera, man. This that's is about a gram's worth of rosin. Really? That's an amazing producer. I uh, kind of can't all wait that. to uh, process that through our uh, kind of tracker. That's lovely. Yes. That's yeah. the God's Green Crack? Yeah. Oh, it was a beautiful strain. Beautiful plant. Okay. I don't know if I did it exactly. What are we doing? 25%, 30%? Are we splitting <laughs> thirds? Pass? I don't know what I did there. I'm going to try and squeeze through. We'll see what we do. Well, I think I know it's more than that. Oh, we'll see. Oh, well. I'm going for it. It is. My fucking show, after all. Well, it is the real <laughs> Just having fun with y'all. A little bit of snap, crackle, pop, like a bit of moisture. Oh, definitely a little bit of moisture still in the blood. That's why we're getting the heel from the arm. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. But I bet you the terpene profile was probably pretty decent. It's more than decent. It's amazing. 
I want to eat it. Ah. The stability of this rosin is ridiculous. That was almost like a uh, pull and snap. So we've, uh, today we turned our her electric nail up a little bit. Shout out to uh, Culture Rising in London for shipping this her er, er, er electric nail. <coughs> I'm super happy with this device. <laughs> Gets me really well medicated. And the nail's always hot. So now we've turned it up to what? Uh, I can't remember, 650, 660? We're just kind of testing it out. I don't have a, a test gun to see what this is actually at. But uh, the reason I turned it up is taking forever to clear the bloody chamber. I think it kept on smoking. You got a little puddle of glass. Well, a little marble on top, eh? All right. Oh my God, this is one of my favorite beers I've ever tasted. Again, Steamworks Collaboration Ale. Yeah, collaboration with uh, Sortori Hops Farms. It's just amazing. Ooh, ooh, pop. Wow. Well, okay, pop. Isn't that good? That's a pretty good <coughs> All right, I'm ready. I'm gonna make the little uh, archway. I'm actually going to try to smoke this piece on the show today. That's how fast I think I can make it. We're going to crash it, so we'll get a proper anneal cycle. Maybe one day, maybe not. This, we're going to keep this one. Commemoration of the kind selection day. <coughs> I've got a few pieces I kept from the shows. There's the uh, pumpkin spice, death the pumpkin spice there. Hey, and check out the bong from last week sitting up on the kiln there. Yeah. Don't know if you can see that. That's a fun one. That was well, a quick one. What should we second here? <coughs> I don't know. Well, read one out. Let's show the camera. Let's talk about the strain. Well, um, I grew a lot of I'm strains. Gonna, I'm going to bring this over to the camera and show what we did first. Which one is it? The That's the, the crack. Yes. Oh, wow. I'm sure where the angle is here, but uh, oh, that'll, yeah, that'll hit it. You're gonna just be able to see the color there. We got really nice, dense nugs. My arms aren't as long as yours, so I can't quite reach in there and show it to them, but. Uh, very crafty. Great yield. <laughs> Great yield. Yeah, yeah, I agree. <laughs> just lovely. All four of us are gonna get a nice fat dab on that. It's a handmade gel. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just making a little crescent shape, a little bracket shaped piece that's going to connect the mouthpiece to the can. We've also got a closed loop system going just about six feet behind the camera there. In a little bit, we'll, uh, we'll take the camera for a walk and show you what we're doing. Kind Selections uh, graciously has come up and helping me process all my uh, small nugs and trim and we're going to do a live extract of a full uh, plant, God's Poison, That's by Jordan's uh, uh, from the Island Seeds. Which is actually the next one of the rosin as well. So. so I just made this kind of a comma shaped piece. I'm going to pull out this mouthpiece. That last one's got my sinuses going good. It's lovely. Wow. Hey, put me down that one. Put them down. The very heavy. Like, uh, no green outs allowed. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Come on. Ah, uh, just tease it. God poison is next here. So I just welded that, and now what I'm going to do is just really place the position. Looking at it from every angle, flash a little more heat in there to give it a bit more flex. Just check it out at all angles, making sure it's straight. And now I'm going to put a brace on. I've got some six or seven mil here, whichever. We'll put it onto that mouthpiece. We'll just stretch it right over. How was that bond screen crack? Lovely. Lovely. If you want to have it down, then it's just yes, lovely. Snack, it'll get you munching down. 
got munchies there, bye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How to be that. I don't even really like these chips. I haven't bought any one too. That's awesome. So now that I got that brace on there, I can kind of heat this all the way around. And really, I mean, I really stress how important it is to do that brace yeah. and melt down your welds. I wouldn't know that's a rookie already. Rookie, pay attention. Same. I was actually complimenting. Hey, speaking of rookies, congrats to uh, little Gremlin there. He's in the chat, I believe I saw him but earlier. Set up going. He's got it fired up. Yeah, hey, he's in his shop right now watching the show. Nice. Congratulations and welcome to the fucking club, buddy. Yeah. Well, you was already in the club, but you know what I mean. Yeah, he's getting into it. Show the camera what the God's Poison just pushed out. God's Poison. This one's got a pioneer scent to the God's Green Crack. Of course, the God's Green Crack is a Kush. The color Green is. Crack. So this is not. The, what the poison is that a German poison, I assume? Like, what is this? Oh. God's Poison. I hope so, too. In cannabis lingo, there's only one poison. Uh, It'd be a Durban. Anyway, maybe VSB, Vancouver Seabank will chime in. Hey, well, thinking of such, it's 419, folks. Get ready, get set, fasten your seatbelt, and strap your helmets. It's almost 420. And then at 430, VSB, if they're in the chat and not busy with their busy store customers, they will, uh, oops, put up my torch. They will uh, be giving away seeds at 430 in the chat room. So if you're watching this on YouTube, you missed it. Got a show live. Okay, so that's what I got. Whoop, whoop. Pretty quick, pretty simple. I'll leave the brace on for a bit. 419, I gotta take a minute. Safety break. Safety break. Are you feeling safe? Very safe. That was good. You've got all kinds of things to try here. Uh, what's this? <coughs> what's this shatter? I can hold that up to the camera. This is all right. Do you know what this little uh, patty was? I got it's UBC Kilo. It's, I yeah, UBC it's Kilo. It's very light because it's the uh, Kilo mixed with the... It's got nice clarity. It's beautiful. I was taking big, big uh, hits off this earlier. It's a great effect. So happy 420 to all y'all. It is 420 in BC. So that means it's 420 wherever you are too. So join me for a dab, will you? Don't forget your carb cap. Gotta get your carb cap. And I got myself a lovely uh, dose of UBC Kilo. Cheers, happy 420. Mmm, that's delicious. The carb cap really increases the flavor. Keeps your temperature down. Makes the fire smolder, you know? Produces more smoke. <laughs> Starves it of oxygen. Oh, that's so good. Whatever that was. A mixture, I think you said. Well, get this time to re, uh, re up here. We got another re up with another rod in there. You better press another one. You know, you got a lot to do here. <coughs> we'll talk about all the strains one by one, but I'm really excited to do this one here. And the uh, both of the uh, where are the genetics. <coughs> this guy's got a dispensary in Hamilton, Bright Moments, and uh, he's a really passionate guy in their community. <coughs> and uh, this stuff is just amazing. It's got such a unique taste—a little bit of spice to uh, the drums of war and the blackbird PK. It's got just a, its like a, a flowery, lavendery. Uh, it's like a spring flower scent. It's beautiful. It's just a touch of, it's almost a perfume. God's Poison's here. I have to go and jump on the extractor. Oh, get to the work. But God's Poison's there for you to have a dab of. Thanks, buddy. Well, it's time for all of us to get to work. I'm going to beaker this guy up. Oh, he's checking out what you got there. Nice. Are you happy with it? How would it go for you? It's all right. Not too bad. The colors are going to be nice for sure. The dots could be a bit cleaner, but. <coughs> right? Well, we kicked in the Delta Mag. It's time to get to work. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, I have to admit, when I make uh, the honeycombs, yeah. I don't uh, get 100% turnout. Yeah, I flail sure. some, for sure. Yeah, for sure. There now, <laughs> the most amazing thing is the first time, long, long ago, I did one, and I was like, dude, I can't even see my dots. Fuck. And I threw it in the kiln again for, like, I left it there for ages. I left it there for a week or two. Yeah. And then it turned into the one of the nicest honeycombs I've ever made. It was amazing. So, this is an interesting prep we got here. Rookie Tim pulled this at his house. It's much thinner than I expected, so it's not going to be a large piece, that's for sure. I, was, I didn't, I guess I should have felt the weight of it, but pretty medicated and I didn't clue in. But anyway, to gather it up, we're just gonna do a series of Maria's. Hey, Rookie Tim, there you are. Yeah, buddy, what are you doing? Nice prep work. Did that one turn out okay? Yeah, it's just fine. It's a lot thinner than I thought. Oh. And this right here, look at those big, uh, see I got a thick spot yeah, there, 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 and there? Uh, well, all I'm gonna do is I'm just, what, what would I do, eh? What would the, the rage the, rage the piss? Rage the piss, exactly, thank you. <laughs> give me coin, give me, give me coin now. You got it. For two points extra, Timmy's come home with the win. I'm going to enjoy this lovely... Uh, there it is. Postmark Pilsner from, where is it? Uh, 12 Kings, Kings Pub. Thanks, Armin. Yeah, Postmark Pilsner. Just for my Pilsner love and buddy here. I'm going to try this glass. Uh, yeah, that's pretty tasty. Almost got to do it. Last time I was there, 12 Kings Pub, they had about 12 beautiful taps that I tried, and they were all delicious. You can get a $2 little glass, and uh, they know all about each one. They'll tell you about the, the strain that you're drinking. It's so similar to smoking cannabis. It really is. Very cannabis friendly there. Very cannabis friendly. You just can't light up in the No lighting up on the bar. But you can roll. I do. <laughs> I do too. But I'm not shy about that. I roll joints at, at the everywhere. Yeah, after yeah. dinner at the restaurant, Tim Hortons, wherever I might be, Starbucks. So I don't know. Yeah. I don't really actually. I made those last two up. I don't really go there very often. So yeah. Don't ask permission. Oh, no, of course not. Don't no, no, ask. No. Hey, can I vape in the airport? You just do that. Sort of That's right. Calgary is a great one for that. <laughs> Toronto, I've got so much vaping done in Calgary and when you're taking a small flight out you take this long corridor walkway and it's kind of this outside yet inside uh, piece like it's you know it's not heated obviously and it's just this thin metal siding around it's just like this like a carport type thing you have to walk through anyway I, I, I knew that was coming the last time I went there so I had two big pens loaded right I was just blooming smoke. Yeah. I timed it right and I kind of went quickly to follow some people and I went ahead of some old people. Yeah. I went right ahead of some really old people that I knew would walk slow. Yeah. And then, yeah, so I had some space right behind me. And yeah, I walked I had, quickly. I had one of those uh, juju joints given to me. Yeah. And I uh, had completely used it out by the time I left. Love that sketchy that tennis guy? Yeah. I, don't, I didn't find him sketchy, but that is what I guess he's going to describe it. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't see how he's dispensing a penthouse any different from the store. No, I just think some people are paranoid is what that comes down to. And if they don't know someone else in the community, <coughs> they yeah, they're scared. automatically think they're cops. Yeah, you're a nerd. I think that's just people doing that. The sketchy one's probably the one that's with all the fear. But it's often a culture of fear, right? And we all have to try and do our part to prevent that. So I live in a good hole so long this way, you know? Except when it comes to the illogical laws like cannabis. Yeah. So when is Trudeau going to get around to it, eh? Good golly. He's got to realize that people are going through pain and suffering every day. Great right now. Today, yeah, for sure. Look at Saskatoon. Yeah, Saskatoon sure. Compassion Club busted just last week. Talking yeah. with my brother Lum that lives in that city, he owns the head shop. He says, 
Scott's are just eyes all over him. His lungs been a major uh, face at the front of that protest and the voice of the people's concern. Right? He says, oh yeah, they're just eyes all over him. So I popped a hole in the top, and I think what I'm going to do is a direct inject right in there. And there's two ways you can do a direct inject. You can make a separate downspout with the holes in it and then flare the other end. Or you can take your factory male joint. I got one out here. There it is. You can take like this, which is pretty much ready to go, and just put a Maria there. And that's the technique we're going to do today, I think. We're going to try it anyway. Why a Maria? You'll see. So it catches the thing. We're going to make a hole here. I got a hole here. Just blow that out nice and neat. Yeah. And if you're a rookie, I suggest doing it this way on axes. It's nice and quicker. carbon joint holder like so I think we'll do that for this and we'll start with uh, I'll close the end and I'm gonna pop a couple holes in there then I'll punch the up actually I'll make before I pop the holes I want to make my Maria so that's what we'll do it's not just a good idea to wear the goggles for the, uh, the brightness either I just took one off the lens there you go, buddy. Saved your life there. I was trying to kill you. It's all fun and games till one of your sponsors loses an eye. <laughs> well, it's important. You gotta wear the shades. Uh, We're standing there. Where are some goggles, people? Mm. That's yeah. why I try to keep a couple extra pairs. It's the thing you gotta do if you're a glass blower. Go get an extra pair of goggles. They're only thirty bucks or whatever for a cheap pair. They're safety glasses. That's what they are. Blackbird PK was next there. Oh, good. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, it's really good, Tim. Oh, I really like it. Yeah, I really do. Does yeah, I think you of the old spicy PK that's been gone for a while. Spicy is exactly the right word. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the drums is more spice. I think the that Blackbird is more a slight flowery, uh, yeah, lavendery, perfumey yeah, uh, yeah, okay. goodness. Apparently, he goes with. Uh, he works with. Is it Green Gauge? Breeders and the Oakland area, something like that. Smells nice. I'm aware of the genetics. Yeah, I have the Fire Creek OG. Me and, too. Uh, some, uh, the some wrap. I just sewed it. They're like two inches tall. I'm about to sew some of these ones. I can't wait. So, making me a Maria. Pop. Nice and even. Pretty good. Pretty good. It's a little crooked, but once you put it in there, it won't be. So, there's a Maria. You follow? You got it? You see it? There it is. All right, so let's go back to this end. And one of the things I gotta do here is uh, right before I do this, I wanna measure my downspout. I wanna see how far down it's gonna go. Perfect fit. How far is it? Oh, it's pretty good. I could stretch it out just slightly, but not much. And what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to make a slight constriction right here. I'm going to punty up. I'm going to use my needle, uh, slightly smaller flame. I'm just going to constrict it. So I'm just going to let the glass heat up. And I'm going to gather it up in that one spot. Oh, rosin happening behind me. Let's explain rosin. Kind selections, you guys are the hash guys. Do you want to explain it, mailman? Yeah, I can help with that one. I'll let you finish your knee tech. What are we talking about when we say rosin? What the fuck are you doing over there? We are separating the cannabinoids from the plant material using heat and pressure. There you go. So basically, we're 
gold and fucking diamonds, man. Yeah. Yeah. Turning me into diamonds. This is. You know we're not that far off. Gold being. Doesn't look nearly as What about the second draft? I'm gonna throw this chip away. Are we talking to either? No. So that one was not as successful and squishy I'm not and saying volume. It's not successful. I haven't tried it yet. Well, oh, yeah, not a large volume. That's the God's poison? No, this is the Blackbird. Blackbird? Hey, Freddy's in here. Freddy! Freddy! Freddy, the one man smoke show, Freddy? I think it's just the weed kick. The weed kick. Guy's awesome and hilarious. Freddy cracks me up. What? Freddy cracks me up. Yeah, me too. He likes to put the cream that we uh, make on his nipples. Yeah, I saw that I'm one actually. Really sure I was tuned in when he did that. I'm not really sure what he's doing with it. He's it's talking about doing uh, suppositories uh, during the show soon. Well, I'll tell you, you Freddy, take the kind cap, stick them in the freezer, they'll go pop them out of the gel cap, and then go ahead and stick it for the sunburn show. Wow, yeah. yeah. In there I've not tried off. that. Is that not, you think this will fit in the milk piece? Yeah, I don't. I think I'm with you. What? I think oh, that will fit in the milk piece. Uh, that would be a tie bit. Might be a tie bit, but you're like uh, so big. Yeah, go big or go home, right? This uh, tungsten's fucked. We have another tungsten, you know? You see him uh, on a tungsten? Oh, wait, I see it. Oh, I see I it. it. Oh, you. <laughs> Dude, don't you? Yeah, that's what I said. Sorry, Dan. Oh, those fucking apprentices. I know, it is. Okay. It's good for pipe openings for mouthpieces. Oh, yeah. And it's good for uh, holes in the bottom of your dance. Oh, yeah. Those tiny little holes you can open up a little bit. Just like that. Just like that. This dog's pretty awesome. He's been eating cannabis all day. Yeah, she likes it. All her drugs, too. All right. Oh yeah, yeah, totally. It just keeps walking in and grabbing a butt off the floor leaves while we were trimming. So I'm just reheating this in the kill. So this happens pretty fast, and now I'm at a little bit of a detriment, I gotta admit. If you're out there listening to me, this is another example of do as I say, not as I do. If I could have my Smith Micro Torch handy, I would. So get yourself a Smith Micro Torch. <coughs> But my links will get pretty fucking fine. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna warm up the very lip of my vessel. So that's kind of wet. Now I'm just gonna wait just a second. I'm gonna quickly slide this in and get that right into position. And now as I get it soft, I'm going to drop down and marver. You're recovered? Well, I'm recovered. You just finished the 12 steps of mm -hmm. hash making no, I recovery? Don't, I don't, yeah, hash making recovery. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. I just you increased my flame uh, there. Recovering some solvent. Recovering the solvent. So explain okay. that, could you please, brother? We can run in a closed loop system which reclaims the solvent. What yeah. the fuck does that mean in some layperson language, please? We're putting gas in a tank and uh, distilling it at the same time. So you're recovering it back by distilling it, by cooling it quickly, and making it like from steam to liquid type shit. Uh, not, yeah, sort of. We're warming it slightly, which is really still cold, it's like zero degrees, where it yeah. will evaporate. And then we pour some of that evaporated gas into a uh, solid tank. Awesome. Is that a big belly? Yeah. I like it. I gotta increase my flame here slightly again. My downspout is just a little crooked, so I'm going to heat up right next to my weld on the can side of things. And I'll get it soft enough so the downspout starts rolling around a little bit in there. We need that downspout a little floppy. Floppy downspout. That's what she said. 
That's what she said. Yeah. You know, I ain't so young. I do that. I want to plug this side. Let's see if I can quickly find a plug. Here's a case where it blows and swivel would be a good idea. Don't got that already. Rage this on a micro scale. Just got to get it really liquid. Blow it out, condense it down, smooth out any lumps. Almost there. So with a micro torch, this wouldn't have taken so long. I could have just stuck it and then grabbed the micro torch and heat it up slowly, working around the, the seal. But this is fine now. Check my downspout. It's crooked. <laughs> Floppy downspout. Guilty as charged. But I've got the top looking better at least. That is a little bit hard to see and thick. Alright, decent. Well, it's a shop piece, so it's goed genoeg, which is Dutch for good enough, right? We'll set this in the kiln because it's time for safety break. We'll flatten it, attach the mouthpiece, and we're done. I'm worried with the crashing of the uh, piece that we spoke of and attaching your marble on such. Hey, oh, yeah, that's right. Emily Christine Photography in the house. I haven't looked over at the chat in ages. Hey, chat room. How are y'all doing over here? Sound working all right? Are you able to glance over once in a while now? I'll leave it here then, otherwise I'll move closer. Excellent, well, let's see who's in there. We got some C4 glass in there, apparently for the first time ever watching the show live. Thanks C4 glass so much. Here, I'll bring it over if I can look at this on camera. Everyone talk in chat so I can see who's there. Okay, okay, go. Okay, go. We go, we go. How you doing? Hey, Tripsy. Protester, uh, uh, Tripsy activist, Jam, glass blower Jam down in the states. The weed king. What does he? The weed king always say, "Quote, free the weed, eh?" Grimbo, oh uh, Gremlin, congrats again on your new show. Fucking right. Okay, I'm gonna put that down. Time for a dab. The nail is hot. Let's try some more, uh, baby. Would you like a dab? Yeah. Look at all the There's so much amazing. So, yeah, uh, this is fresh pressed rosin of the God's uh, green crack of my stuff. Uh, this is some uh, mix and this is something else. This is something else and that's something else. <laughs> it's all good to go. Yeah. You wanna just, yeah. That's a live resin that you might be hitting there. And that's what the boys are doing in the back now. Hey, actually, is it? Good time. Can I bring a camera? Like, oh yeah. Okay. I hope you don't get seasick, but we're gonna go mobile here. So, hey ho! We're going for a ride, folks. And we are just going around the corner. 
in the backyard. What are you, what's all that noise? Oh, he's loading the cone. So that's the cone I made out of a, out of a toboggan, you know, those magic carpets. Cause we needed a funnel. And that's the big tall cylinder, which is all iced up. Mystery oil is. Mystery oil, that's that stuff, eh? Any residue left in there is what, what we don't like. Interesting. How much grease? Oh, you can smell it. Oh! Yeah. There's the other piece of the that unit. Was about, uh, nine or so pounds of solvent. Nine pounds of solvent so far? Excellent. So what's all this stuff here? Uh, the air pump? Vacuum thing? Recovery pump. Recovery pump. Gas tank. Solvent tank. Vacuum pump. Vacuum pump. Manifold. What's that thing in there? Is that just a filter in that bucket? It's just a condenser coil. Condenser coil? I gotcha. This is that's a, part of the recovery. This is our extractor. We that's have these here in Canada. Excellent. Kind extractor, as you call it. Yeah. Right out in Vancouver Island. They're uh, available by getting hold of us. Uh, you can shoot us an email at uh, kindselections at, at gmail. We have them in stock. We can ship them out to you within three days. Awesome. Yeah. I they're uh, tw they're 2500 bucks, And we also offer four hours of, of uh, consultation. And um, you know, we'll, we'll make sure you have a good understanding of what's going on. That's amazing, man. Yeah. That's amazing. A lot of the other companies, they're just they're not going to be able to offer us. That no, no. And support Canadian, right? It's exactly. Canadian That's what I say every show. And it's not like a hokey boat backyard. These guys are 75 fabricators who work on the shop floor. You know, all this is blueprinted. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. So this is how I'm processing all my bottom branches, all my uh, small nugs, all my sugar trim. <clears throat> oh yeah, we could go for a walk. We'll do that in a minute. We got a slab in the oven. We'll go show. You want to do that now? I'll go get it. Okay. Oh, you're gonna get it. Good. Now I'll just stay here. All right. Well, I'll just keep watching you pack your tube there, because. Uh, then I'll set it up in the corner. It's more exciting than anything else. Well, no, Jordan, it's making a big fat marble. We can go check that out. What are you doing over there? You got a big rod. Is that a big fat marble? Uh, yeah, it's going to be a smaller marble. I just used a bigger rod because it's bigger. I see. Then you don't have to gather. It smells just nuclear, like it looks. Oh, my word. Look at that, folks. That's nebula. We Maybe. could probably get a better light on there. So yeah, really oh, we can it, see so. it. Oh, we can see it. It's beautiful. It's still quite liquid. Well, this is a, it just a live crashed. resin will usually end up staying a little li more liquidy. Yeah, but that, I mean, it's only been in the oven for an hour. Not we even, haven't even started purging. Well, we haven't even sucked it yet. No. Oh, so it's fresh, fresh. Yeah. That's a nice slab, dude. Yeah. That's the Put it back in the oven. Yeah, already flew in there. Good, get to work. Okay, I'm gonna put this back. Let those boys get to work, and we gotta get back to work. We're gonna finish this rig. Okay, let's guess that camera angle right there. How'd I do? Hey, not too fucking bad. Not too fucking bad. I'll lift it up a bit. Hey! Up in the back. Oh, hey, how's that? How's that? Yeah. Just enjoying my favorite beer so far, Steamworks Collaboration Ale. Thanks, 12 Kings Pub, Vancouver. Now, we've probably flown by 4.30 and I missed it, so... Again, Vancouver Seed Banks always support community events and programs just like this. And they support everything in their community. They're sponsored by the Great Canadian Glass Gathering. Uh, and uh, cheers to them and thanks for always contributing. So don't forget to support them at VancouverSeedBank.ca when you need to get your seeds. All right, well, 
One more dab, and then I'll get to work. Did I say dab or glob? I think we'll go glob. shove that direct inject in. I didn't do the best job of it, but I did do it and it did make it, it did survive. So it's time to flatten this piece. <coughs> As you can see, it is a nice shape. Nothing wrong with that. See if we can get this flattened now, and then we will attach that mouthpiece. And then five minutes later, we're gonna crash it. I don't know about attaching a big marble man. Do you think we should save it and put it on something more better, or should we just do it and just risk it? Well, there's two. So should be all right, maybe, but well, it's pretty big for crashing. But it's about the limit of what I'd want to do. But we could do it. I guess. Are you emotionally attached to it? <laughs> I guess that's what I'm asking. So maybe we'll do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, well I want to smoke this piece too, right? Uh, yeah. We all want to smoke it. That's the plan. We'll stick to the plan. You gotta get it dirty. Down and dirty! Uh, how's it going? Dab and dirty. I'm just about to flatten it. And I love flattening it like sideways side like this. So you can just side rotate side. it and it's just perfectly flat. So that's what I'm gonna try and do. But it's also good to, uh, what kind of colors do you have? it's a weird one, uh, Tim will explain. What colors do we have going on here, Tim? Just so I can match a back kind of It's a uh, orange, sunset, I believe, and then it was a uh, pink Mai Tai on top, and then I believe I put here on top of that. I'm pretty sure it's going to go up. That was a lesson from Gibson Glassworks. How to use tags because I had no idea. Gibson! Yeah, he offers lessons up at Quadra Island. Very reasonable price. Very reasonable price. Well, to see him. He's a very humble man. Always a great time. Alright, so that's a nice wide base. Uh, should I put it in the kiln? I think I'll put it in the kiln for just a few minutes. Oh, yeah, because I can get this ready. What are you going to do with that big cane you brought in there? Well, you know, why don't you show the people that? It's a great big cane that uh, Jed from The Gathering gave me at The Gathering. And I thought of twisting it up and doing like a little uh, fun ribbon, ribbon attachment. Yeah, I think you should definitely do that. Should I do that? Yeah, All right, well, we're just going for it then because oop, with a, uh, are we crashing this piece? Is it ribbon a bad idea? Well, any attachments got yeah, a bad idea. Right? Yeah, yeah. It'll be warm for a little while, right? Yeah, it should be all right. I've crashed two inch marbles and such, close to, but I wouldn't want to go too I've seen close a couple to crash too. But yeah, they usually often crack. It's like your odds are not good at that width. No, not crack. I said, I've seen you crash a couple. <laughs> So just pulling the end off this, we'll pop a hole and prep it for attachment. Yeah. So I'll pop a hole. Just go on the side there. I'll use my graphite reamer this time. Just kind of ream that hole open. In the flame is the nice thing with graphite. Graphite can touch the hot glass in the flame, nothing sticks. That's the beauty of carbon rod. That's why I got all sizes of them, all manner of carbon rods. It's great stuff. Octagonal reamers are one of the best too, these guys. 
This one's like a sawed off version. We talked about that last show. All right, so let's pop a hole in that. You know, that barbell's not as big as I thought actually when I looked at it now. It's quite hollow there. I think what I gotta do is uh, just, I gotta remove a lot of the rim on your uh, hollow. Oh, I put the torch. So we're approaching the uh, 100th episode here, folks. And uh, yeah, I know, eh? Woo! Oh, crazy, eh? And what what should we do? But have a big party, maybe, or well, small party, maybe. No party, but something. But I'm gonna give a bunch of shit away. And by shit, I mean some awesome glass worth like lots of money and stuff. Maybe some souvenirs from previous episodes that I've kept for quite some time. And uh, yeah, so make sure you're tuned in for that. We'll make sure we'll do a little bit of promo about it. That's coming up in a few weeks. I'll be uh, talking about it on my Instagram and Facebook. Make sure you got me in for your class. So there, we just got the two sides hot, the same diameter, the same nice temperature. Smell. I tried to do this one time. I'm not going to brace it. Because I got my uh, carbon tool in instead of a glass tool. So I'm heating the one side of the weld. Oh, that's nice to do too. You can rest the... I often do that. Now it's just like a brace. I can heat both sides. And I just... I'm resting the mouthpiece against the carbon tool. It's like... That's not cool to see that. So just shrink it back down and we'll do over. Blew a little hard so it bubbled out slightly. Pull it in the final shape. It is a shot bubbler. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's got to be good enough though. It's got to survive some crashes. That's right. It's got to survive the kill crash. And you want your work to look great. Right. Uh, just like trying to get all that weight off the back. There it is. It's a striking color, so I try to get it clear like it is there. And then you know it's struck to that. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's reset and then you can strike it to what. I only have one spot to call it. Underside, right there. There it is. Shaka, 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 shaka. There it is. Hey, let's adjust this. Maybe we can put this on. I don't know about the mouthpiece. Do you think mouthpiece? I don't know. If the if mouthpiece, we better plunge this in a bit deeper. Get that warm. But I think I gotta. It's pretty hollow here. It's like a wee little dish. So I'm just going to remove some of your lip there, which will also reduce the size and thermal mass here. Okay? It's now a collab marble. Is that right? Oh, yeah. And actually, I might just use my shears and just yeah, yeah, hack at it. Yeah. Get the edge pretty hot here. And just Hell yeah. So, I'll, I will get more rosin to make. Oh, I got some bubble hash to smoke. It's sample A from the Prairie Cup that I went to uh, a month ago. Just happened to have it still, so I figured we'll test that. Okay. Next thing we have rest. 
Yeah, what's going to be next there? Uh, oh, well, let's try that other Omuerta, the Drums of War. Yeah, I'd like Beautiful. to try that one. Beautiful. I think it's I think I think I a bit of moisture. There's a bit of moisture in it still. I don't think I tried the purple yet. Where's that purple? Uh, I didn't do purple. I did. Oh, I did. I did I this one. Yeah. That was right here. There's two dabs there. Yeah. So you see how that, like, cools down now it's going like purple color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's because like you rip that layer of silver off by blasting it with oxygen and it doesn't go all the I still have a little bit there where it was thicker, but that'll kind of like go in front of blue where it's coming right? yeah, So yeah. it'll still match it. Yeah, striking colors are something else that don't took me a long time to land on these. I like using uh, Violet Melody. It's a cool strike. Is that from North Star? Bomba. Yeah, I was about to say, not North Star. You got like blues, baby blues. like oh, that's okay. Just swiped yeah, a little glass away there to just really easy move to a bit more of it. Hard to bucket blues. Oh, marble it down. <laughs> and that's kind of brought it down to a narrower diameter on that side. And I'll just use some more 7 mil rod just to swipe that clean again. Just around the edge. Keeping the uh, honeycomb pattern hasn't been touched. Just removing a bit more of that rim. I guess I am, uh, whoop, doing a rim job over here. There we go. So that really did her. And now I think, I think I will just fill the last little bit of a divot up with clear glass. I do. I'd like. Is that you telling me? Not a huge rosner. I thought you said you want a huge rosner. No, eh? Oh well. The smell is amazing, but not, not there. Oh well. It'll be enough for you to scrape that one up. So when I'm filling in a little divot like that, sorry, I meant to say it as I did it, but I'll say it after I did it because I did it now, and so I'll say it now. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, is I go in not direct center of the divot, go in on the side slightly of the divot and fill in over to the other side of the divot. You follow? Yeah. If you're filling in a crater on the moon with a glass rod, yeah, don't go into the center of the crater. Yeah. Or you could. It depends on the depth of the crater. The crater is really wide, like shallow, like no walls. Yeah. This one had a wall. so And one side was sloped like this. So I went in on this side, up to the wall, and pulled off. Not far to the side, just we're talking a millimeter, but anyway, that's what I do. That's what I did. Otherwise you risk trapping it. Yes, but that's a cool trick, air trap. So if you do do an air trap by accident, you say you did it on purpose, and you call it an air trap. It's not a bubble, it's an air trap. And you charge a little bit extra for that. See that? This piece has some in there. You did do an air trap. Well, <laughs> do you want to show the uh, folks your uh, three inch long air trap? It's, it's beautiful. It's here, it's here. It's here. It's here. It's here. The airlines. The air, the airline fracture? The airlines. Yeah. Come on, selection airlines. They start the uh, fucking airlines. Who's so selecting like the dab? <laughs> Dab's the nation. Destination. What are you pressing now? Purple. Oh, what? Purple is the rainbow sky. Oh, let's show that camera. Oh, 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 oh. Likes the purple. Well, it's so. It's not even purple. It's black. It's, it's not even that it's purple. It's the smell of it. Yeah. It's sour too. So this is purple. It's rainbow skunk. It's not purple skunk. It's rainbow skunk from uh, Manitoba's Solar Warrior seeds. And we gotta show the folks at home this one. Is it crazy? Where's that? Shadow glass, Where's that? Shadow glass. No, that's not. 
that's not it. Oh, yeah. oh it is it. Yeah, you're right. Look how purple this is, folks. So I got to It's so purple, it's almost black. Alright, well that's probably been in there long enough. I think I'm going to put your marble on the can, Bo. Because, you know... Ow! Mouthpiece. We need to, uh... The whole thing's going to be crashed, but this will be deeper. And I need it to balance the weight of the mouthpiece, too. Neither nor, not yet, but we have lots of wisdom. I just had purple show up on the roster sheet. Nice. And it's not a flame. Yeah, I've seen some bubble ashes turn purple before. I've had, yeah, my bubble water is really purple sometimes. Water. Nice little marble there, but Okay, so just gotta take the mouthpiece off and that's done. And then we can plug this into it and smoke it. We could probably smoke it just we could leave the mouthpiece part on and smoke through the 12 mil on blow pipe. Yeah, that's an idea. We could, but I think that Whoa. it's a bit of weight. Yeah, I've never seen that before. That's insane. Really nice, bud. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, awesome. man. Really nice. We'll throw that on something else. Yeah, I want it. Yeah. 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 Where's you uh, asked that purple stuff in the middle is? What's the, what's the purple have. stuff in the middle that he's never seen before? I was yeah. that happened yeah. before. Chime yeah. in, folks. I believe it's so purple like some the, of the, the color of the... Nipples. It's nipples. Problems. It's obviously purple nipples. Come on. It's obvious. I don't know why you think they're the purple nipples. Alright, so now we're waiting for that. Now I got this great big thing here. Let's give this a bit of a bit of a crank, shall we? Huh? Ah, it's cold here. We need to heat it up. Well, we gotta make a dabber, so we'll make a dabber. Sounds like a jet. I love this car. What's the PSI run on that? Off to 90 or 80 or so? Raging. Yeah. Now that's raging the piss. I know Gibby wants to get himself one of these. Gibby, are you proud of me? I'm raging pissed. I just I try to make Gibby proud. That's what I mean. Uh, Hi, Star! There's Star. I knew we were talking about uh, Third Eyes there. Third Eyes owner. Okay, so I busted out a piece of 12 mil to use as a hand over here. Yeah, you should use something big and wide to grab it. Yeah, something big and wide, and maybe while I'm heating that up, I can make a little puck here. See those handles there? Yeah. Size it up. Yeah. I should have. Should, <laughs> should I show you? Should I grab it to show the people what the fuck they're about to put? Oh, the orange thing? Oh, what are they? Oh. These are my slightly janky, but these are my milli pull handles. There you go. When was the last time you made a milli? Yeah. Uh, a little while. A couple years. Should we make another one soon? Should we try to do it? Yeah, Jan's gonna that. do. We're gonna do a stringer stack. Jan's crazy. gonna help me with arrangement. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that sounds crazy. Yeah, I'm inspired by seeing what Jason Lee and Tara Roberts post. Like, he's, she does some arrangements I'm with sure them. Before enough stringers enough color, and let her do her work. She'll turn something out. So, the cool thing with this is it's like. I'm not going to crank it so tight like a ribbon, like a marble. No. 
I'm just going to twist it. So I don't have to get it super liquid. I just need to get it soft and malleable. So I've pressed this How long would it have taken you that if you were working with a smaller torch, like say, like mine? Oh, you can. This is about, oh, to do this whole yeah. thing? No, you can't. It wasn't done. It can't be done. No, 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 no. I'd say if you were ripping an end off to get that thickness of glass hot. Just another 10 minutes or so. 10 minutes? No, I don't know. Probably. I don't know. Oh, probably, though, yeah. So, I'm hoping that that's going to crack off on me pretty easy. And now I'm going to give it a little bit of a twist. That smells crazy good. And with this big a glass, just take your time. It's not a quick process. I'm just giving it a slow twist. Keeping it in the flame to keep the devitrification down. Most of the heat's in the core. And now I'll just pull this side off. Oh, it's all good. I made the same. Oh my god, This one smells so good. Headband. Headband. 707 headband. And it's a keeper. One of my favorites. That's going in my oh, next program for favorite. sure. I've got clones of it. And that, who's the breeder oh. on that one? Maybe, uh, maybe I need VSB's help with identifying that one too. 707 headband. Maybe it was from BC Plant Depot? Yeah. Not sure. It'll be like a little bigger. So, there we are. I think I'll just leave this out now. Oh, well. So there's the dabber. <laughs> and I should be able to just crack it off this side because I did a pretty cold attachment. So just get my carbon pad ready and we will uh, knock it off. Knock it off! Or grab it with my tweezers. And just give that a polish because that's a sharp edge otherwise. You don't want people to cut themselves. And now I could always punty up to that and uh, attach that as a fat ribbon on a piece. But that's pretty cool. Nice big ass 25 mil wide, inch wide dabber. I. Okay, so last thing to do is take off the mouthpiece. Nice little dab rig made here on the show. because I'm not going to let it sit for long. What we'll do is ramp this up now to about 1150. Select and then up the temp. knuckle left over from the Great Canadian Glass Gathering uh, crucible poles. It's very thick on this side, quite bubbly with a lot of uh, with a lot of air trap and dust particles perhaps and uh, a little thinner on this side so I just went ahead and made kind of a jack-o-lantern theme bong out of it. A little quick attachment there. That was from last week. You can smoke out of that. So, safety break. 
You want to try it? You want to make something there, Timmy? Not just a hash maker, it's a glass blower as well. It's got a little something to show you. No, I'm going to push mushrooms. Did you do anything you want? How much time you got? You busy in the back too? I'm kind of busy. I think I'll stay to watch it. Okay. So, where's the tarp cap? Oh. Jordan, did you steal the tarp cap? Dang it, See? That's what we did last time. I could use bulk cap, I guess. I got my, I'll use this. Uh, it's a brass v-neck tool. It'll do the trick. Just wipe it on my beautiful organic cotton Dirty Dave shirt. Veiled by CCHQ downtown. <laughs> This actually works great. It's got holes in it, so I'm moving it around to use it as a little hole for the car cap. Delicious. Look at a big puddle in there. Sweet. Kilns up to 10.95. Why I love borosilicate. It's tough as nails, this stuff. Compared to soft glass, you can't do this stuff with soft glass. It's a completely different animal. It's cracky, cracky, cracky stuff. Okay, boop, it's over 11. When I go down, just like that. Oh, he's calling in his assistant. Tag team ever here. Here, it's a collab. Woo! Well, it's collab now. You can be like, this is an Emily Jordan collab, bro. What the hell's your fucking tool? <laughs> no, there must have been a little bit of a hot spot. I suggest a little bit slower, uh, we'll give it a little longer pause. A little deeper heat sink and a little longer pause. I just need you to hold that when I call you. So, uh,. Let's see what the boys are in the, in the back. I hear motors running and stuff. Let's go check the extraction process because this is cool as beans. Kind selection in the house. You don't get that every day. Yeah. I hear noise. Explain. Oh, look at that beautiful dog. So we're doing recovery. We're in recovery right now. The uh, Hey, ow. Don't bite me. <laughs> that was attacking a lot. Being slightly attacked by this. Uh, She's a good guard dog. Okay. Maybe we should interrupt and talk about the fucking dog. Okay, Tim, what type of do what type of fucking dog is that? Cane Corso. Cane Corso. An Italian master. Italian master. It's gonna be a big fucking dog. It's only six months. Hey dog. Maybe about hundred pounds. Fuck. She's good at the camera. Hey. She oh, walked she right up to. Engine, Beautiful dog. Beautiful dog. Okay, now, as you were. We are uh, back to recovering the solvent. We've uh, washed over the French frozen, which is all super, super cold. Super cold. And, uh, hey, let's talk about that. Can I? I think that's an interesting thing. What the fuck's going on in there? It's a mix of uh, ice, it, oh, it's methyl hydrate and uh, dry ice. That's cool. And some of the methyl hydrate is actually was from. Uh, it looks like there's still some weed in there too. But that's okay. It looks like what? So there's some weed pulled out that. Oh yeah, that's is okay. Beautiful. It's natural. And just uh, dry ice, and that just it is it's really cool. Yeah. I don't know the exact temperature. It's really cold though. Hold it. Really really don't want to stick your parts. Yeah, don't stick your parts in there. No parts. No the sensitive parts. No tough it's, parts. No dog parts. Bella, what are you doing? Get out of there. There's nothing cool. here for you to eat. She's eating something though. Hey, stop it. It's gonna be. Uh, whatever. That that dog actually uh, has eaten a few pieces of weed today. I'm surprised it's still one of them. She's had experience. So this is really cool. So let's get a big. So this is chilling the solvent to allow. Uh, 
pond is, you know, for it to condense. It's so got more solvent. Pressure regulators up there, right? Can yeah. you show us that? So the hell are you that. talking about there? I just like to know what the hell we're talking about. Okay, so you're reading that, and that tells you the pressure that you're purging it with. This tells it. us the pressure in the system. Yeah. And this is telling us the pressure on this line. I got gotcha. you. Now why does the ice stop at three quarters? What's going on? Because there's no more solvent. Like it's yep. been completely evacuated yeah. and it's started to warm. And does that like it's still really cold? Like you put your hand on it, it's really cold. Yeah, yeah. But, but it's that's not super cold. It's not so cold that it's condensing all of the moisture. So I air. noticed or, uh, in between runs stuff. you pack this tube with dry ice, yeah. and that's the super cold you're talking about. Yeah. And that styrofoam container is the dry ice there. Yeah, so we flash freeze the material in dry ice and then uh, everything is dry ice. Everything, you know, everything is try is trying to be chilled down at least yeah. negative 70. To negative lock out, 70 To lock least, out yeah. all the moisture. Amazing. Amazing. I and love that's it. what that run, that slab we showed people earlier. That's what yeah. that was. Yeah. Well, kind selections. Thanks, bud. That's amazing. I can't wait to taste this stuff, buddy. Yeah, me too. Tell Let's me you have some of that. Yeah, time uh, for some dabs. Let's have some dabs. That skunk one you just we just Rainbow saw skunk. It. Yeah. Let's do that. I can't wait to run that one. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I bonked the camera. I bonked oh, all your heads. Uh, in the headband or my uh, kind of excitement. Where's the headband? I didn't try that one yet. It's delicious. Uh, 707 headband to be precise. It's trickier to get off that one. Okay, so uh, back in the glass shop. Oh yeah, this is what we're doing, 11.39. Kiln's off, and up. This is a really heavy, so I'll move that out of the way. That's got a lot of mass. Crashing this thing, we're gonna smoke it. Move some things here. I need, what I like to use is a, uh, I need a brick. I got a couple of bricks. There's a brick. Here's a brick. Kiln bricks. We're gonna come right out to the kiln brick pretty soon. But while we're here, let's press some more rosin. Well, I think I pressed a little bit earlier. What was your favorite? Well, let's do some more. Which one produced the most? Let's do that then, boss. Let's do that. John string crack. Not even a hesitation. Hands down. There. Oh yeah, we'll look at the color. Let's show the camera the John screen crack. Yeah, no, nice and frosty. Probably well, we need the uh, light for that. Yeah, I'll bring my spotlight over. Yeah, so here's the notes. Are you gonna hand it? In the meantime, that's one of my favorites. I don't know if you're up on water pressing that stuff out. Oh yeah. I'm gonna try this. Uh, this looks like a. Oh, I took the whole thing. Well, you should just dab it in the bucket. Yeah. Oh, I'll, show, I'll, I hope that's I'll the take a little part one. It is the rock star one. Right? No, I think this is the East Coast. That's East Coast Sarah Diesel? Okay, I'll have it. <laughs> you ninja dad me almost last time. So, it's got to be done. That's beautiful. I said earlier I should get a snake ready. That's a pretty big glob. My voice just cracked. Especially for that's a pretty big glob. I'm a little You're scared. scared of that bear. I'm scared. But Bella's scared. She's barking. She feels my fear. I need a dark cat though. Are there coyotes go? Oh. That's not dark cat. Oh, the marble. I see. Really? Awesome. It works really well, actually. Hey, Bella. Shot it. We'll see. Like whiskey and tequila. Another fine liqueurs, and I like the sip it stuff. 
It's gonna take a few times to empty that chamber. Oh, that's sour diesel for sure. Yeah, it's nice size over there. Look at the size of the funnel in there. You want some? No, it's gonna go for a while. Oh, I will. You want some? It's really good. If you break it, you take it. If you break it, you take it. <laughs> Is that how it feels to break your sour diesel? Yeah, break the sour diesel. Well, luckily, I got about four bags of sour diesel, small nuts, and trips, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we'll run and run it out. I'm excited about that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, me too. I have that. one plan. <laughs> it was a, I got a pound off of that plan. A little bit more meat. Oh, 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 hey! Hello. And yeah, that did the trick. There's still a little in there. It's hard to clear the chamber on those. <laughs> so we got How's this thing looking. Looks awesome. See this marble. Oh, can we look cool? Steady hand. <laughs> Big old mouthpiece on it. Pretty fun. So it's an orange coated with like an amber purple type stuff. My tie, pink my tie, which is by Troutman, isn't it? Yeah, my tie. There is. Paul Troutman makes beautiful colors as well. <coughs> Paul Trumpet, also a big supporter of the Great Canadian Glass Gather. Really uh, <coughs> thankful for that. Well, you can see where I grabbed it with the gloves. Residue from the gloves. Hopefully that's rushing off. But we can tell people it's a story. That's my thumbprint. Where I took it out of the kiln with my bare hands. Holy smokes. That, that is two separate nuggets, though. Wow. That's a pretty big squish. Squishing. Watch out, Bella. Squish, look at that squish. Now squish is the technical term, of course, for rosin tech. Can you see it? I know it looks meager, but that's actually a lot. Oh, engage spotlight. So, looks meager, but that's a few dabs. And it's a way, it's a fun way of turning your medicine into dabs. <coughs> I like it. <coughs> My lungs are still expanding from that. You plant some winter crops out in the greenhouse there now. What do you think I'm going to do here? You guess what I'm going to do? It's got, got to plant it. I'm a little late almost. Garlic. I often plant garlic after cannabis. They do really well. Turns out Remo's Nutrients grows good garlic as well. Yeah, yeah. And good carrots and beets and squash, I can test it off. Exactly, yeah. Uh, I see tomatoes <coughs> in this area. Yeah. Hey, you know what I think I should do next time? Will you remind me? Next time we have this many people over, we just, I have to give you all a Dirty Day shirt. I have so many Dirty Day shirts, you all can wear a Dirty Day I'll shirt. I'll take one home. Yeah, uh, we will. Let's go through my closet. You said that once before too, Jordan. I did, yeah. Shirts? Oh yeah. Good lord, I got some shirts. Send some more here today. Give them away. 
So, and also, if you need a red beard shirt, you can contact me or Dirty Dave, and we'll get that. So, what's the nail guy? I just realized that it's like this. You're gonna need to make the, uh, this. an adapter. Yeah. Oh, so that doesn't work. Drop down. Drop down. Time is a female to female. That's gonna end the show. It's only a 125. Female to female drop down. Get to work. Female to female drop down. So here's the female, and I'm gonna do a claim catcher female for sure. 18 mil, maybe a big claim catcher. How big can I go? See this one? It's actually got this much more room. I'm gonna build a big claim catcher. So, how far can we go? Oh, that's only a 12. It fits in 12 mil. That's off one gram. So I want to drop it down a ways. So maybe I'll put a port. I'm gonna get an 18 mil out. <coughs> I got a box of joints around here somewhere. But he's only a uh, dab. No dab. No box. No. I think it's in front of you. Excuse me. Looking for an 18 mil female. Those are the trannies. Oh, found them. This box. What? Who are these by? Uh, Gold label. Gold label. UC. UST glass. Through pop in Vancouver. So do you have to flip that thing over now, or, or like, uh, what do you gonna do for crashing? It is crashing. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna smoke it in like five more minutes. That's why I gotta hurry. Hurry up. Get to work. That was almost the. A, 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 you were a sketched out face there over there. That's really hot. <laughs> Me too. That was a monster glob. Thank you for that. That was a beautiful sar East Coast sour diesel hit. So I can't make this really long this claim catcher but it doesn't have to be really long it'll still catch quite a bit uh, because i want to drop it down a little quite a ways oh uh, yeah oh uh, you can crash that too huh? the flame deal that. that's what i was thinking. yeah bushy flame hold it at far and just slowly reduce the temp you are the kill you can do it easy but this can go back on these are really fast oh yeah if it can go back on there you go
bowl on the side of this tube I just removed. Is this going to work? Am I crazy? It's going to work great. I'm going to do the same with the other end after you seal it up. Yeah. Yeah, and I should probably seal that up now. I think I'll set this aside real quick. I'm just going to punch you on to this flat side here. It's a small little narrow punchy like that, and I'm going to close up this other side here. And then I'll punch you onto that. Brush up. Just 
Get yourself a chicken too. The eggs are awesome. Maybe ducks. Ducks are high protein eggs. The chickens eat the cattle sleeves? Yeah, I just threw mine in the chicken coop yesterday. They picked through it. No, not as much as your fucking dog. That's hilarious. Okay, where's my turkey? Oh, there. Where's my turkey? Oh, there. There's so that's pretty great. Wow, it's really slow. What's going on here? Is it cooling down or heating up? Yeah, it's so like, like long now more that bass is in glass. You know what cracked actually there's right down crack. here. Yeah, I know I saw it too. Both sides. Yeah. Might fall apart. As long as the rig doesn't break. Oh I don't think so. There's no cracks in the rig and it's cool. I think it's a nice rig. Maybe this is something we'll do way out the hundred episode. So I wanna thank Kind Selections again for joining me. I wanna thank uh Maybe it wasn't inside. There it goes. See that? I lost oh, my card cast. It wasn't right. seated right. There you I thought are. I was losing my vibe. That's ripping hard now. Ripping hard. Kind selections. Thanks so much. Beard Brothers Society. They got a retail space out on the island, you can go visit. Contact them. Send them your folks. You wanna have a dad? Yeah, I'll Shatterbeard. We go go check out Shatterbeard. Contact Tim, he's got easy that. access. Jordan. <laughs> Jordan in the house right over here. He needs a dad. Yeah, here. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll come over there. Well, we're gonna come to you, bud. Long time viewer. Long time participant now. Oh yeah, bud. Nice to have you on board. And uh let's take this this way. So finely dressed, we can't forget to mention Dirty Dave yeah, you do shirts. You do Remo Nutrients, helping me grow the finest cannabis. I love it. Well, this Drums of War might not have made the best roster, but it makes a great joint. Should we roll, we right. should roll a joint. No joints? You'll love it. We'll but after the show, because this is Hashi <laughs> Shatterday. And I uh, want to thank, uh, oh, who else? Aim Kilns. My beer sponsor, 12 Kings Pub in Vancouver. I hope you go down there and have a beer. Tell them I say hi. And uh, let's see here. I need another dab, and I think it's time to end the show. Everyone needs a dab. Yeah, I got one here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we got some extracts to make here. I got a freezer full of uh, trim and smalls. Don't forget to check out the Kind Extractor. You said 2500 I think I'm going to buy one of those. <coughs> Kindselections at gmail.com, Facebook, Instagram, get at me, we'll, we'll get, get you one. There you are. If it's you don't remember all that, contact me and I'll hook you up with them. We're good friends all around. So thanks for tuning in. As always, it's been a great time. See you next week. And uh, Pot TV, best network in the world. Adios, amigos.